Esquadrão Suicida Mata a Liga da Justiça tá chegando aí agora no mês que vem, né? E galera, eles estão soltando mais e mais informações sobre o, jo sobre o jogo e uma delas me chamou muita atenção, que foi nesse vídeo aqui, tem 11 minutos, a gente vai reagir junto, vamos ver juntos, né? Eu não vi o vídeo ainda, só vi um tweet, na verdade, que tava comentando sobre a chegada de novos personagens no game, jogáveis, gratuitos e que o primeiro deles vai ser o Coringa, velho. Coringa! E eu fiquei curioso, porque o Coringa, ele tá morto, né, nesse universo. Então eu não sei como é que vai funcionar isso, mas eu quero ver junto de vocês. Bora lá, se você tá ansioso ou, no mínimo, curioso pra ver os conteúdos, né, gratuitos pós-finalização do jogo base, as seasons, as, temp as temporadas. Bora comigo, vamos ver. Computer. Activate the threat assessment matrix. Ooh. All right. Toys, <laughs> lighted guns. What are we waiting for? Man, ela vestida de mulher maravilha foi incrível. I'm Darius Sadigian, studio director at Rocksteady Studios. In our last episode, we talked about how Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League allows players to customize each character and their playstyle through story-driven mechanics. Man. If you gave me five minutes in there, you'd have the world's authority on microtech and all my inventions. Aw, he's so <laughs> sweet. He's not gonna make it. The Suicide Squad gave us the scope, the narrative, gameplay, and then the idea of being able to expand that, be able to take this further. It's gonna feel completely fresh. In that spirit, we want to deliver totally new content at no cost for those who purchase Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We're back in business. All right. Olha aí. Today we'll discuss customer. O que eles vão mostrar aqui é realmente aquilo que eu comentei com vocês. Tudo conteúdo gratuito. O que para mim é uma surpresa. Customization options that draw from the full spectrum of DC Comics. You'll see emotes, rival taunts, outfits, and more. Caramba. We wanted to have a game that was very focused, but this time we really want to expand out with being able to dynamically update the game. É comigo, tá ligado? Eu adoro essas coisas. Evolve the game over time. For the first time ever, we'll give you a preview of what's to come after the credits roll on our main story campaign. We always designed the game in a way that we really wanted it to be accessible for everyone. And for those players that want to delve even deeper into our gameplay and into our systems, it really is about delivering new places to explore, new worlds to be in, new stories, new characters, and creating unique ways for you to play. We're gonna give you the content you like. A promessa é legal. What are you doing, mate? I'm smiling. Let's dive into <laughs> Suicide Squad Insider Episode 3. Welcome to Task Force X. From the onset, Suicide Squad, being a squad, felt like the right fit for the kind of game that we wanted to make. You get to play with friends, you get to play on your own, but while you are playing on your own, you're playing with the squad, always. Every aspect of our games, we always look at it through the lens of Rocksteady's treatment. And that just doesn't stop at gameplay, that doesn't stop at story. When we're looking at the social features that we've really introduced into Suicide Squad, it has Rocksteady's approach. What do we think players will have fun with? This game has the mechanics to play kind of socially competitively, like none of our games have previously, and it really fits the characters of the squad. The multiplayer, we're leaning into the competition within the squad to show off your skills, show off your medal, be the best one. <laughs> I'm a freaking superstar. The squad are working together under duress. And so it's fun to add in mechanics to encourage the players to behave in the same way. So a lot of the time what you'll actually be doing is trying to get the highest score, which luckily helps you all complete the mission, but the best player in any mission becomes the squad leader in multiplayer for the next mission. We have leaderboards for solo play, for playing with one friend, two friends, or a four-player squad. You're competing with everyone across the world. Cross-platform, it is the best Cross of the best. Think your hot shit on ties, but you're cold fight on bread. <laughs> did you see that? Tell me you did. I was like, how do you like that? We suck. Oh, traje, man. Ah, traje. Look. Yeah, 
There's some really fun incentives for playing together as well as playing competitively. You can use the equipment that other players have equipped on their characters in your squad with the AI playing as the characters. And those players whose bots you use get rewards for you using those bots. And that's a really fun feature that I think the players will Pera be... Aí. É isso mesmo que eu pensei? Se os jogadores... Os bots que nós usarmos, que for de outros jogadores, vão receber recompensas. Igual o Dragon's Dogma 1, né? E o nosso, nossos bots que for utilizado vão receber recompensas também do Zou. Legal, hein? And those players whose bots you use get rewards for you using those bots. And that's a really fun feature that I think the players will be incentivized because they'll get something out of doing too. Farewell. We also have the rival taunt system where on the leaderboards, if you pass your friends or anyone on your friends list who's also playing the game and you beat their score, when next time they log in, they'll get this kind of funny quip just to show that, oh yeah, by the way, I beat you. Home run. Ah, it's so cool. You boot up the game, you're logging in, and then all of a sudden on your screen you get Boomerang giving you the finger. <risos> que legal! <risos> oh, isso é legal, hein? Isso é, eu gostei disso aqui. Isso aqui é inovador pra mim, cara. Vocês entenderam? Nós vamos jogar, né? Com, é, no modo competitivo com outros jogadores e tal. E vamos tentar bater o recorde de todo mundo. Assim como todo mundo vai tentar bater os nossos recordes, né? E digamos que tá eu e meu primo jogando lá. Ou eu ou o fulaninho da outra cidade jogando. Quando eu bater a pontuação dele, eu posso deixar um recado pra ele, pra que da próxima vez que ele fizer um login, apareça o meu personagem lá, zoando ele, cara. Pô, gostei disso aqui, isso aqui é legal. <risos> gostei. You boot up the game, you're logging in, and then all of a sudden on your screen you get Boomerang giving you the finger. <risos> allowing players to kind of communicate in different ways, really in playful ways. As Rocksteady, as creators, this was another opportunity for us to really engage with our characters, extend the narrative through the players' choices with a very cinematic eye. Through the game, we offer many customization Caraca, options mano, and outfits tried. through the player. You start off in the prison, you get your prison garbs, and then you evolve to the Task Force X outfits. Yeah, right. I was thinking something more. Fashion forward. The outfit customization in our game is uh, vast, to say the least. With this game, Rocksteady will deliver a full story-driven campaign to players, including more cinematics than any previous Arkham game. Boa. The players who survived the war against Brainiac yeah, forces and the game. game, Rocksteady is ready. We very much knew we had a story to tell initially, and then we wanted to carry on uh, feeding into that, and then changing up the gameplay to have a game that was going to evolve through post-launch content. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is going to be one of the most generous, player-friendly post-launch experiences available. Legal. Every season we will have two episodes. Each season there's going to be a different spin on how you play, and will be heavily themed by a DC villain. So there's many, many layers of influence from the DC world on how you play and what you do. The season... Tá. Cada season nova vai ter dois episódios e nesses episódios nós vamos jogar em ambientes novos e personagens novos. No content gets automatically dropped into the game each episode. There's no colocado automaticamente. Behind a battle pass. And the in-game shop is for... Não tem... Olha isso, mano. É isso mesmo, galera. Todo conteúdo, todo conteúdo extra pós lançamento, as seasons, vão ser inclusas automaticamente no jogo de todo mundo. Não é tipo passe de temporada. Você não tem que comprar nada. A única loja que tem no game que eles estão falando é para cosmético. E aí compra quem quer ou não. Mas conteúdo extra, pô, achei legal. Muito legal. Olha lá, bloqueado por um. You'll always be able to go back and play the episode of content. If you want to come back six months from now, that'll always be there. This is a totally player-friendly approach to letting you play the content you want to play when you want. The DC universe is massive, and in most games, you can only see or explore a tiny, tiny piece of it. But what's really cool about the narrative of Kill the Justice League is there's almost no limit on where we can go. Celebrating the fall of the game is over. <laughs> In his pursuit of trying to recreate his perfect Kolu, Brainiac has been experimenting with some of our favorite DC characters' DNA, creating new worlds in alternate realities. 
it's these worlds that we call Elseworlds. Boyak is a genius of 12th level intelligence, uh, but he's also trying to rebuild this civilization that he misses and is lost, and there is nothing he won't do to get there. Tá explicado. You will be reborn. He's building a model of the multiverse. Olha aí. Essas seasons são multiversais. Né, esse Else Worlds que eles estão falando aqui, né, que são os mundos onde nós vamos jogar os novos conteúdos e cada mundo é baseado em um universo dentro da DC. Pô, isso é louco demais, cara. Isso é louco demais. Gratuito, novos mundos e novos personagens, como eu falei para vocês no início, né? Eu quero ver aqui. There's different versions of everybody in different universes and their timelines have just diverged at some point. Tá explicado o Coringa já. Não é o Coringa que nós conhecemos nesse universo. The Elseworlds principles gives us lots of flexibility and lots of É de universo diferente. Nossa, e é legal, dá para trazer tudo. So, we get to play with a bunch of cool shit from alternate universes and then what? Retire? When season one launches this March, you'll be able to unlock a new playable character for your squad. Aí, ó. The Joker. At least buy me dinner first. <laughs> the original Arkhamverse Joker has been dead for five years, but this is a new Elseworlds twist on the villain. He was part of the Suicide Squad in the Elseworld that he's from, which already shows that Olá. he's more... Sacou? Esse Coringa, ele fazia parte do Esquadrão Suicida do mundo a qual ele pertence. Ok, ok, ok. É um Coringa diferente. Olha lá, ele fazia parte do Esquadrão... <risos> Cara, ele fazia parte do Esquadrão Suicida no Elseworld, de onde ele é. Ele já mostra que ele é um pouco de... mais cooperativo. Olha esse olhar, mano. <risos> Insano, insano. Caras, as cinemáticas desse game aqui não tenho o que reclamar, mano. São muito boas. Not only has he got to figure himself out, but he's figuring out his place in this new world and this new squad. He hadn't reached super villain status before Brainiac invaded, so ele não era um super vilão, cara. I think we've taken him back to the kind of more vaudeville roots of Joker. He's masking insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. But deep down, he's not sure who he is ele yet. Ainda não sabe quem ele é. Making new friends after a move is always tough. As your mission... Cara, eles precisam trazer obrigatoriamente o dublador oficial do Coringa no Brasil. Mano, eu não lembro o nome dele, mas o cara é um gênio. É o mesmo que dubla o Hades do desenho do Hércules. É o mesmo que dubla... Quer ver? O... Oh, meu Deus. Esqueci o nome, mas o cara dubla um monte de coisa, cara. O gênio do Aladdin, ele é muito bom. Tem que ser ele. Expands deeper into the lore of the DC universe. This new version of the Joker will join your fight with his unique combat, traversal and weaponry. His vai ser jogável. All based around a rocket-powered umbrella, which he can blast himself into the air and then use that to glide around and then he can actually flip that down to grind the long buildings, knocking enemies out of the way. Ah, eu gostei. And the kind of frantic vertical and horizontal energy that he has means you've always got to be moving and always attacking the enemies. Que louco! The Joker is only the first of the new squad recruits you could meet through the ongoing additions to our game. É apenas o primeiro. Time we can build up a library of que graça, that DC fans might not have expected to see in a video game. Like a regular comic book release. I look forward to when the next issue's coming out. And in the same way, I hope people will look forward to the next episode from us. Whatever it is, I'm down. Já pensou se no próximo vem um duas caras? Oh, ah, mano. Gostei de Coringa, hein? All of this free content comes for players who own the game. O gameplay dele é todo no guarda-chuva, cara. I can't wait for you to see what the future holds. With Elseworlds, the possibilities are endless. How do you like that? Thanks for watching this series. We hope you'll join us for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, a third-person action shooter 
where some of the wildest villains of DC Comics join forces to save the world from its greatest heroes. <laughs> no, 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 that's mental. We're not doing that. God help us. <laughs> yeah. I think players are going to be surprised about the depth to which they can craft the character. It comes back to player choice and player freedom. Everything from melee strikes into gunplay, which you could then go into a traversal attack. All of the combat moves flow seamlessly into another. Squad can be garish. Eu quase não joguei a beta, galera. And playing together. Vocês que jogaram gostaram? Multiplayer space is a really unique experience that you can't get anywhere else. What we've done with Suicide Squad is to really expand those experiences. Not only just one character this time around, we've done it with four and we plan to do it with more. Well, this brings back memories of my old Suicide Squad. Whether you're in for the main story or exploring what lies beyond, Rocksteady Studios is here to support our players while delivering exciting new experiences. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you at launch February 2nd. Lançamento dia 2 de fevereiro, mano. Caraca, dia 1 de fevereiro lança Gran Blue e aí dia 2 lança Esquadrão. Ô, galera, eu não vou mentir pra vocês, não, cara. Eu dei uma animada, hein? Eu dei uma animada, cara. Fiquei contente com esse lance aqui que eles estão fazendo, cara. De entregar todo... Um não, né? Mas vários universos pós-lançamento do game pra manter o jogo vivo, trazendo personagens novos jogáveis e personagens, pelo jeito, né? Serão vilões icônicos, né? Gostei muito da ideia desse Coringa que não é um Coringa do universo da Rocksteady, que a gente sabe que esse Coringa já tá morto, mas esse aqui que nós estamos vendo aqui é um Coringa que fazia parte do Esquadrão Suicida do mundo da onde ele veio, e cara, aqui ele ainda é um bobão, tá ligado? Ele ainda não é um grande vilão. E o gameplay dele eu gostei, cara. O gameplay dele é todo voltado pro guarda-chuva, cara. Diferente. E gostei da ideia dele estarem trazendo todo esse conteúdo novo gratuito para quem tiver o game. Eu espero que eles realmente mantenham o jogo vivo e o interesse, né? E pelo jeito, personalização tá gigantesca. O gameplay aparentemente tá bem legal. Galera, eu joguei tão pouco, tão pouco. Eu não tive tempo. Olha que louco, mano. Eu não tive tempo de jogar como se deve, né? O jogo... a, a beta que saiu. Se eu não me engano, ela saiu. Eu não sei se a gente fez live. Eu sei que eu joguei pouquíssimas horas. Não, dá nem pra, não deu nem ainda pra entender como é que o jogo funciona. Mas na versão final, obviamente, a gente vai trazer muito conteúdo aqui. Comenta o que você achou do game. Se você gostou, não gostou dessas adições. O porquê gostou e por que não gostou. Pretende jogar com o Coringa? Não. Bom, eu quero saber a sua opinião, beleza? Valeu!